Welcome again. How is everything? I hope everything is going well with you and your family. Please take care. Stay in your house and wash your hands, okay? Today, we need to move on to the next topic. In this lesson, I'm going to show you some collective nouns. But first, I'm going to refresh your knowledge about nouns, okay? Let's start. Okay guys, as I told you today, we are going to learn about collective nouns. But first, do you remember what is a noun? Can you tell me what is a noun? Or can you mention what is a noun? Can you think about it? So, for example, in this one we have guys, here we have nouns. When we talk about nouns, we refer to a person, we refer to a place, to a animal or a thing. So for example, a noun, uh, if we refer to a person, we can say girl, boy, dad, mom, grandma. We can say this one when we refer a noun. When we refer a place, we can say school, home, playground, zoo. Animal, it could be dog, bee, frog, cow. And thing, we have examples such as book, flower, shoe, book, computer. Remember guys, I told you that we have a lot of nouns around us, but most of them we can say in singular. But when we want to talk about collective nouns, we refer to a group or people, a group of things or animals, okay? Now, let's move on guys to the collective nouns. Look at this one. As you can see here we have, what is a collective noun? What are collective nouns? In this case we have collective nouns refers to a group of people, animal or thing. Look at this one. A group of people, a group of animal or things could be. We don't know. Okay? So, we're going to look at the difference between a noun and collective nouns, okay? Look at this one, pay attention. Look at this one, here we have difference between common nouns and collective nouns. So, in this column, we have common nouns. So, for example, we can refer, a common noun is a boy. But, if I want to say or transform this one into a collective noun, we can say a group of boys. Okay, so in this one we have a cow and we can say a hair of cows. A flower, this is a common noun, all of them are in singular guys. Okay, so in this one we can have, so for example, flower and we can say in collective noun, a bunch of flowers. Rover a gang of robbers in this one there are a lot of robbers because this one is collective noun okay and in this one we have fish we can say a shell of fish a girl a group of girls okay can you notice something similar in all of the sentence even though they say a group of boys and we don't know then when we say a group of boys there are a lot of boys, right? But in this one we have a collect a group of boys. So even though in this one there are a lot of people inside this group, we need to refer this one as a singular. Okay, so for example, in this one, boy, a group of boys. And in this one, look at something similar in all of them. All of them have the, the word of when we want to form a sentence and refer to a collective nouns, okay? 
This one is an easy stuff, guys. Just you have to pay attention in the examples and follow the lesson. Here we have more examples about collective nouns. Pay attention in this one. Look at this one. Here we have a musician. This one is a person and it is singular, just one. Individual, we can say a musician. But when we want to talk about collective nouns, remember the collective nouns refers to a group of people, things or animals in this case. But in this case, we have musician one, but when it is collective, we talk about band. We have another example. Player, just one. One player in this one. But when we want to transform this one into a collective noun, we can say, look at this one, a team. A team, okay? So here we have one player, but when it is collective, a group of people, a group of players, we talk this one, we call this one team. Yeah? Move on to the next one. Look at this one. Here we have a soldier, just one. But when we want to form this one, a collective noun, look at this one. It is army, okay? Because in the army, we have a lot of soldiers, okay? Look at this, soldier, army. In the next picture, we have a ship. We can say, when we talk about plural or a group of animals, we say a flock of sheep, okay? A flock, this is a flock. When it is English, just one, just is a sheep. When, but when there are a lot of sheep, we say a flock of sheep. Next one. We have elephant, just one elephant. But when we talk about a group of elephants, we talk about a herd of elephants. Okay, this is a herd of elephants. Look at the next one. Here we have a dog, individual, but we can have a pack of dog. Okay, and also we can say a pack of wolves. Talking about this one. In Spanish, we can say this one, jauría. Okay. Look at this one. Here we have a bear. And a lot of birds we can say a flock of birds. Okay. Look at this one. We have a fish. When there are a lot of them, we have a shell of fish. Yeah. The flower. When it is just one, we say a flower. But when we have more than one of a group of flowers, we have in this one a bucket. Okay. Look at the next one. We have a grape, individual or singular, just a grape. But when we have more of them, we have a bunch of grapes because we have a lot of them. There is a bunch of uh, grapes. And we can say as well a bunch of bananas, a bunch of keys, okay? We have a lot of things that we can say bunch. In the next one, we have a tree. This is a noun, individual, just one thing, singular. But when we talk about a lot of trees, we can say a forest, okay? Look at the next one. Very good. So guys, here we have some more examples about this one. Here we have, we can say just one student, but, but when we talk about a group of students, we can say a class of students, yes or not, okay? In the next one, we have, look at this one, a fleet of ships. In this one, look at it. If you have just one individual, you say, ah, there is a ship. But when we have more than one, it means a group of ship, we can say a fleet of ships, okay? In the next one, we have a fly of stairs. When we say a fly of stairs, we refer to this one, a lot of them, a lot of them, okay? A lot of them in this one. Uh, remember, it doesn't mean that a fly is like a, a flying or something. No, 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 okay? Remember, in this one, a fly, we can say in Spanish in this one, a tramo, okay? So let's continue in this one. You can use your dictionary if you have some doubts about the meaning. In this one, we have a swarm of beeps. Look at this one. In the visual, we can say a bee. But when we have a swarm 
of bees when there are a lot of bees. So we can say this one is an enjambre or something, okay? I told you this one we have a bunch of grapes and this is another example, okay? Very good, guys. Now, let's practice a little bit about these collective nouns. Look at this one, guys. If I have here, I say, I am a lonely grape. Can you take me to my... What is the collective noun for this grave? It could be a bunch. It could be a herd. It could be a bucket, a flock. What is the correct word for grave? Do you remember? Yes, of course, you are right. In this case, it's bunch because we are talking about grape. Remember, bunch of grape, bunch of bananas. Okay, good job. Move on to the next example. Look at this one. I have, I am a lonely flower. Can you take me to my forest, hair, bucket, or flock? What is the correct collective noun for this flower? Yes, you are right. In this one we have bucket. Remember this one, a bucket in this. Look at the next ex exercise. What could be, guys? Think about it. Look at the collective nouns. Here we have collective nouns. I am a lonely tree. Can you take me to my block, hair, pack, or forest? What do you think? Yeah, you are right, guys. In this case, it's forest. Because when we have a group of trees, we call this forest. Good job. Move on to the next one. Here we have um, a lonely dog. Can you take me to my pack? Very good. Very good in this one, okay? Good job, guys. Now here we have one more. I'm a lonely fish. Can you take me to my what could be in this one? Yeah, we are right. Here we have the word show. And also, guys, we can say in this case, a school. To my a school of fish. We can say that, okay? Both are correct. Look at the next one. We have um, a lonely bird. Can you take me to my team? I don't think so. Here, actually no. Flock, army, yeah, you are right. In this case, it's flock, okay? Very good. Now, here we have another, look at this lonely elephant. Can you take me to my team, ban, army, hair? What do you think? Do you remember it? Yeah, you are right, guys. In this one, we have hair. Good job. Look at the next one. We have a sheep. A lonely sheep could be a flock of sheep. Very good, okay? So, in this one we have, as I told you, musician. What is a musician? Collective noun for musician. Team, army, pack, or band. It is easy. Good job. In this case, it is band. Very good. And look at the last one. I think he's a player. Yeah, it is easy. The collective noun of player is team. Very good. And that's all, guys. If you have any question about the meaning, you can use your dictionary in order to help you uh, to find the correct meaning of this word by with the picture. I hope you have understood the meaning of this word, okay? Now, let's move on to the AMCO book. Okay, guys, now please open your AMCO book on page number 76, okay? So, as you can see here, we have collective nouns. The explanation that already given you, okay? So, here we have, as you can see, guys, here we have a flock of birds, fleet of sheep, hair of big mammals. When we talk about big mammals, we use the word hair. Book of the flower, group of people, class students, okay? We have these nouns and we form with collective nouns with this one, okay? So, try to read the sentences in the exercise that say, 
choose a collective noun from the word bank to complete each sentence. We are going to do this activity together, but you have to keep in mind the words that have here in the word bank, okay? So, in number one it say there was a of buffalo crossing the road in the Yellowstone National Park. What could be, guys, remember when we talk about buffalo, we are talking about a big mammal. When it is a big mammal, what is the word we have here? Look at this, big mammal. We are talking about a hair. Very good. So, you are right, you, are, you need to write down here. There was a hair of buffalo crossing the road in Yellowstone National Park. Okay, very good. Try to continue this one by your own. Try to move on the, 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 the sentence. Try to complete the sentence by yourself. You have to keep in mind that here we have people, flower, a student, or hundreds of sheep. okay? What could be, guys? What could be? Try to this one, and we are going to complete together, or maybe at the end I'm going to show you the answers. In order, you can check, but it is a good idea if you complete this one by your own, okay? So try to do it by yourself. Try to do your best, reading the sentences and completing them with a collective noun, okay? So look at the last one we have. In war, war to a, what could be this one? Of hundreds of ships. We have here ships. Yeah, we have here sheep. So, if we want to form the collective noun with sheep is lit. Very good. So, complete. Try to do it by your own. Okay? When you finish, guys, this one, we're going to move on to the next page. Page number 77. In this page, guys, we have more collective nouns. Look at this one. We have school of fish, as I told you. We saw a school of fish. We have fly of stairs, deck of cars, or it could be a pack of cars as well, okay? Range of mountains, pack of wolves, as I told you, it could be pack of dogs, swarm of insects, bunch of bananas or grapes. It is a bunch, okay? So you have to get familiar with the picture that we saw you in the presentation, and you need to practice the collective nouns. Look at the next exercise, guys, here we have it say, correct the sentence below, replace the wrong collective noun with the right one. So, look at this one, we have some uh, collective nouns that or which are underlined. So, you need to correct them. Look at this one. We bought three swarm of cars in our trip to Las Vegas. Is it correct, guys? No, of course no, right? Because when we talk about swarm of cars, we can say in Spanish, un enjambre de cartas, right? So in this one, what could be the correct word? Yes, you are right. The correct word is deck of cars, or it could be pack of cars. Yes or not? Good, good job, guys. So, you have to do the, the same with the next sentences. Try to complete them by your own, okay? And in the last exercise, it say, you need to choose five collective nouns that you didn't use in the previous activity, then write sentences using them. You can choose the, the words that you want, try to complete them, okay? Just this one, it is in order to practice, guys, the lesson about collective nouns. Okay, guys, if you did the exercises by yourself, you did a good job, very good. Now, I'm going to show you the answers of the exercises in order you can check your answer, okay? If you didn't have, if you didn't do the, the correct sentence, please try to check now. Here we have, look at the, the, the answers here. Okay, as I told you, here we have a hair, group, bucket, class, fleet. We can say, so for example, a hair of people, no, right? Look at the next answers. Here we have, look at this, 
the same as I told you here we have to replace or correct the words that you have underlined here so for example swarm instead of dex dex as I told you is school into fly because we have stairs okay here we have all of them and guys as well here we have some sentences that you can copy just this in order to practice okay good job this is very easy if you have any doubt please contact me or send me an email okay that's all for today guys we finished the lesson about collective nouns so see you soon bye and take care